Hello gamers, geese and gays. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're playing Frostpunk 1. Frostpunk 2 is not out yet, unfortunately, so instead we're going to make do and we're going to play the original. One of my favourite games, probably of all time. There is something about this game that hits different atmosphere, the gameplay, the choices this thing makes you make. Makes you... There were too many makes in that sentence. <laughs> This game makes you feel like a terrible person at times, and it punishes you for being a good person. But it's possible, and we're going to try and prove that today. As a bit of a disclaimer, I am not an expert with this game. I have played a lot of it, but I'm not a min-maxer. I don't know every tip and trick in the book. So if you're here for advice on how to play the game, stick around. I can still show you the basics, but there's some fantastic content creators out there who have done Frostpunk. Um, just check out your, probably on your recommended feed now, there's going to be a bunch of Frostpunk because you made the mistake of coming over to this dark side of the internet. Without further ado though, let's get into the game. The main scenario in this game is called A New Home, and we have essentially encountered the next Ice Age. It's Victorian era, we've come from London, and these massive generators have been built out in the wilderness for us to rebuild society. I don't know why we couldn't stay in London, where there's already some level of infrastructure. I guess it's just too flipping cold there now. Um, but here we are. This is our new home. And ain't it pretty? In the middle of the city, we have our generator. This is our lifeblood. This is what's going to keep us alive. We need coal to feed that. So there's coal around the map and there's other means of getting coal as the game progresses. We need buildings. Buildings are built using wood, which is up here, and steel, which is also up here. Both, again, can be found in countless different ways on the map. And then we have steam cores, which is a secret tool that we're going to use later. We then have food that we have to worry about. We have morale. Um, we've got loads of different buildings that we can use and we can research. Um, we have laws that we can introduce, loads of different ones, and again, we unlock more as the game progresses. For example, the first one I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump straight in and build, uh, the, do the emergency shift law. And I would do this literally before the game even begins, just because this unlocks some fantastic other laws behind it that are really, really strong. Um, I wouldn't use the emergency shift that often because... It's, it's, it's awful. It's even in these conditions, I would only make someone work an extra 24 hours if I absolutely had to. It's not make them work 24 hours. It's 24 hours from the point you hit that button. If you wait till a minute before their shift, they will work the next 24 hours. It's awful. But we're going to sign it anyway, because we're terrible people. The other thing that I found out very recently, you can build... A research building, a workshop, straight away. So I'm going to build that straight away. We've got enough resources to build it, and this lets us start researching. The research tree in this game is fantastic, it's huge, but we need to get started on that right away. In the meantime, we are going to start building, uh, we're going to start harvesting, sorry, some wood, some steel, and some coal. Is there any coal? We'll go for this coal pile. There we go. We're going to get these resources slowly ticking in. And you can see our guy is kind of waddling out into the snow. And this game is getting on now. I, I, I can't remember when this was released. My head wants to say 2016, but my head lies. Um... But we will find out. I'll, I'll try to find out. There will be a link, by the way, in the description. So go check out the description on the video if you want to go check the game out on Steam. I would recommend it. It's good fun. I have wasted so many hours playing this game. So, we built the workshop. Gonna pause the game. I have assigned workforce to it. Everything in the game you assign work workforce to. Engineers go in the workshop because they are smart. They are big brain. Um, they can, you know, research things. We are going to, first of all, go to exploration. Get the beacon, maybe? Or do I? No. 
I'm going to go for the faster gathering. I'm going to go against my training. We're, we're building our own build here, peeps. Um, faster gathering, essentially all these raw resource piles, people will literally pick things up quicker and move quicker. So these boffins are just like, huh. manual handling. How can we get them? I think they just get bigger bags or something. I don't really know. I'm not that clever. In the meantime, what else can we be building? Uh, food is probably a good one. So I'm going to build a little cookhouse. Uh, we'll whack that down there. And we're going to build a hunter's hut. Now, hunter's huts are fantastic. You don't have to build them near the heat source. Because people don't actually work in the building. They go out at night. I didn't realise that till like a week ago. Um, yeah, we don't actually have to keep these buildings heated. So put them at the edge of the city. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. Okay. Nice to know we've got volunteers. And we will get onto the um, exploration beacon ASAP. No roofing. Well, let's change that, I guess. I guess it is probably quite important to get some housing. I'm going to build a street off this way. And I'm going to put all my housing on one street. Again, there's a good reason for this um, that I will showcase soon. Word of advice, the, the too long didn't read version of this is just try your best. Don't always have to give the crowd everything. And once you get that into your head, it makes the game a lot easier. The heating's off. Of course it is. I forgot. Let's turn this bad boy on. Now, there is a uh, temperature overlay, and you can see how toasty warm people are. The area around the generator is always going to be the warmest. Always. So, any really important buildings like med bays and such build around here. Otherwise, people will get ill while they're being treated for being ill. It's like, imagine if you went to a hospital... And the windows were open in the middle of winter and the heating was off. You're not going to do very well. I am now going to get the extended shift. This means we can make their work day longer. I'm a terrible human being. I am going to... Right. Because I am at heart a real nice person, I promise. I don't like doing this. But a trick... That you can do is you can do an emergency shift on your workshop and your engineers will work through the night and you can just get through your research quicker so what's a few grumpy technicians you know they can deal with it i do need wood though so i actually can't even research anything till the uh, work day starts come on people because we need to research this beacon. The beacon is really important because it allows us to send scout parties into the wilderness and find more people and more resources. And if it's not obvious why, that's real important. Let's get some more raw food coming in. Beacon researched. Can I build it straight away? I can because I am so clever. Again, this doesn't need heating, I don't believe. But let's whack it out here with the other hunter's huts. Add new research. Steam hub. Steam hubs are little babby generators, and they are adorable, and I would recommend getting them straight away, and I have forgotten to build houses. Ah. Quickly, build some tents. Otherwise, people will be upset with me. Balloon! The balloon is going to go up in the air. And we can see 
real far. By real far, I mean really far. We are going to find uh, some people when we've got enough wood. And we're going to send out uh, an expedition. And we're going to find some people and bring them home so we have more workers. Because otherwise we're going to suffer. People cheer as a giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have already lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in Frostland. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. Very good. So we've done this in like two days. I think that's the quickest I've ever managed that. Not gonna lie. So I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. What we're gonna do instead, I am going to not build a gathering hub because I don't have enough resources. Right, we've got steam hubs built. So I will build a steam hub there. Keep those houses warm. And then I really need to get some wood. Um, so we've got this mission down here. Provide shelter. If I don't do that in time, people are going to get real sad real quick. So I need to build... That many. There we go. Come on, guys. Get building. Get building. Quicker. Come on. Oh, that was a little bit close. Just a little bit. And that's okay. That's okay. So, construction. Resources. Gathering post. We're going to build one gathering post out here. And connect it to the road network. And we're going to build another gathering post out there. There we go. And then connect it to the road network when I've got wood. We do not have enough wood, unfortunately. But we'll get it soon. Lack of home stirs anger. Well... Uh, I will provide shelter for everyone. Promise. Yeah, I'll, I'll focus on the housing situation first. Otherwise, we're going to have pretty severe problems pretty quickly. Got one day to do it. But we should be alright. Should get enough wood in that, in that time, hopefully. Um, child shelters we could maybe do. No, we'll go for radical treatment. So this means if people get really ill, if they get frostbite or like massive injuries, we can amputate. The other option is you put them in a care home and then they are literally, and it sounds real awful. They're literally just a dead weight. They just don't do anything. They will just continue to take up resources for the rest of the game. Whereas if we do it this way... They will be taking up resources, but eventually we can build a factory and make prosthetics for people. Um, and then they can be functioning members of society again. And that is like genuinely really good. They, they enjoy that. They feel good about that. Someone has frostbite. That's fine. We can stop them working at this pile now because we have this gathering post over here. We are going to do the extended work shifts here, which they're not going to like, but we now have enough for a beacon. So, scouts, 40 wood, 5 people. Let's go to the Lost Expedition, and they will just be gone. The downside to that, of course, is we've just sent 5 people out of the colony that we could have done with keeping. But, you know, win some, you lose some. Resources, we need a coal thumper. These coal piles are going to run out. Um, and the coal thumper essentially generates new piles of coal, so you have infinite coal. Very, very good. Very nice. More sick beds. I will build a medical post. When I get more wood. Yeah, we've got 25. Now, medical posts, I am going to build around the generator. Because I need to keep the people warm in there, or we are going to have problems. 
Let's have a look. Book of Laws. Care House. They will be kept at low cost. We could do that. Could do that. That's probably something we are going to do. For now, though, child shelters. And we will save up and we will build a child shelter. Ooh, okay, so the rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. We enter the camp bearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We'd been wandering around for days until we couldn't go any longer. Soon we begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Always, always escort survivors back to the city. Otherwise, some of them die on the way. So this we get four kids, ten engineers and twenty-two workers. Fantastic. Bit of a, like, spoiler alert. I tried recording this, like, half an hour ago. And I didn't build the beacon in time. And everyone died. Um, lol. So, you know, here we are. We're doing this now. I can't build, can't do the new law yet, so we are just going to have to wait, unfortunately. They have all arrived to the city. I love this. This, this right here. I, I love the feeling of seeing these guys and that kind of, you genuinely kind of feel like, yes, we've done it. We've got them back. Right, we will go and look for others before we do anything else. So I'm going to turn the generator back on. Gonna send the scouts out this way for now. Alrighty then. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, what do we need? Food is becoming a bit of a problem. I'm a bit worried about the food. But I do need to get the child shelter up and running because I promised I would. Otherwise, people will just become incredibly upset with me. And I don't want people to be upset with me. I want people to like me. Then after that, what can we build? What do we need to build? I think another hunter's hut would be good. We will do that. The children are now cared for. Very good. Very nice. Um, Research. I... Mm. Hunter's gear. Let's buff these hunters as much as we can. We just wanted to thank you. Back in London, it's the only wealthy that didn't have to send their kids to work. In this new world you're creating, we can see things will be different. If you insist. I don't think it's going to be that much different. I'm going to be honest. We're out of words. Yuki, that's alright. Kind of expecting that. No roof over our heads. Alright then. I'm going to provide shelter for everyone because I'm just that cool a guy. Uh, build that. Build that. Then I see one more house. I don't think we quite had enough. There we go. Now, what I can do with doing really is... Building a steam hub over here. Keep these guys warm during their work hours. Oh, the scouts got somewhere. So we've got survivors. Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explained that they came here for help, but found everyone dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved what was so important for them. They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming? What? Well, we're going to have to escort them back because I did just say never send survivors back. Uh, <laughs> So, stick by my words. Oh, do I need another, another house? Are you kidding me? I will fight you. Um, I'm going to set the steam hub to the extended work hours, so it's not going to be burning through the night. First amputation. 
Uh, I see. There is nothing I can do about that yet, unfortunately. And I do genuinely feel bad about that fact. Oh, thank God. It's just got a little bit warmer. Scouts have returned, so now I have even more people I need to house. I'm going to make the kids be medical apprentices. And what that'll do, that'll improve the efficiency of our medical bays. But I do think I need another medical post because it's looking a bit grim. All right, scouts, send these boys back out. Gloomy cave, sounds fantastic. They're collecting stuff. The, the, the wind is blowing in such a way where I can't seem to see this gathering post very easily. Right, impatient. Um, we're going to cut off his leg. Um, regardless of the fact he doesn't want us to. I'm a wonderful human being. Build a coal thumper. We could do already. Yeah, let's build a coal thumper. I, I want to make sure we have more coal than we need. Housing is becoming another issue. So... Let's try and Jenga in as many as we can fit in. Let's have a look. Urgent need for treatment. Okay. I'll, I'll build another one. Ah. Too many people want treating. Everyone's getting ill. To be fair, the food is scaring me. I'm going to build another food hut. Or do anything else. Oh, have I run out of wood? Oh, uh, no. That's not really what I wanted to happen. Not gonna lie. There is some wood on the map. And I feel like we could maybe get... Right, sawmill. We need ten wood. Then we can get a sawmill. Just for a little bit of, like, extra resources. Not more survivors. So here, we can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards the block the entrance. There are people trapped inside. Let's risk attacking them. The people in the cave joined them and together drove the beast away. Unfortunately, the scouts died. But those people are on the way back. Okay, so we lost the scouts. But we got more people. They're, you know, not the worst. I'm going to send some engineers out to collect resources. Because otherwise, we're a little bit screwed. I'm going to get the sawmill. I don't really want the sawmill. I want a wall drill. Ignore the name. It gives us wood. Um, I would quite like get that up and running soon and I'm going to dismantle that gathering post because I don't need it anymore people are hungry I am going to try and feed everyone emphasis on try don't shoot me if I can't food is difficult I also promised people I'd make a Oh, am I going to have to dismantle some more stuff? How much is go is the sawmill going to cost to build? Right, more people died. Cemetery. That's going to cost to build, isn't it? Ah! Right, so we have three sets of hunters. That should be plenty. We've got an unburied corpse. Oh my god, this game does not give me a second to breathe or think about all the terrible things that I have done and I'm trying to do. I don't have any kind of wood production. Ah! Oh, that's good. This is so good. Um. Build. Build. I need all the wood, please. I can take a few workers out of coal thumper, to be fair. Oh, we've got loads of coal stockpiles. We've got loads. Okay, the survivors have reached the city. That's all well and handy. But I don't have enough of anything. Ha! 
Right. Get in there. Get working. We need wood. ASAP. So I can build literally everything. Uh, no roof. Oh my god. Okay. This content can just go ahead and rise slightly. It's the best I can do. I broke my healthcare promise. This is stressful. I promise. Once upon a time, I was quite good at this game. Right, so. The healthcare situation is genuinely getting out of control. Um, and that's probably partly because people have nowhere to live. So I need to build the rest of these tents in the next day. This is going well, isn't it, guys? Don't you think? Are you happy? Are you stressed? I am. Feed more with less. Yeah, I need to do the soup law. People are not going to be happy, but we're going to be able to provide more food for everyone. Oh boy, people are real not happy. Uh, right, tent. Quick. Houses. Uh. Right, more houses. More houses. Okay, we are... I, I want to say we're slowly getting there. I need, I need to provide a place for the dead. That can, I don't know, go there, it fits. Oh, I need more scouts, I need more scouts, but for scouts I need wood. And I don't have any wood. I have wood now. Scouts, create. Get out there. Go to the crash site, please. Urgent need for treatment. I just built you one! Ah. Okay, thankfully, less people are starving now. That's got to count for something, right? Extra rations for the ill. Overcrowding. Discontent, but we'll have more medical facilities. Yeah, I don't care if you're unhappy about it. I need to treat people. Uh, okay. Okay, so what do we need to do? Feed the hungry. Open up a new medical post. Well, I need to do that anyway. And also, I should probably build another hunter's hut. For reasons. Um, oh, it's getting colder. There are very few city builders that I've ever played that give you this genuine sense of... Holy shit. 24-7. The hungry were fed. Way! Okay. So. Get people to work in there. Scouts have reached the crest, though. Do less harm. Give the guy what he needs. Okay. I'm not even going to read that. If you can help us, you can do it. Boy. There are plenty of prizes, supplies, and the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass. Uh, as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We could do nothing for them. Not even bury them. But that's a lot of wood and a lot of food. Let's go to a sturdy shelter next. And pray it's enough. But now though guys, I'm going to call that a day. Thank you so much for watching, however. It does mean a huge amount to me as a small YouTube channel. I also stream over on Twitch where I've been playing a lot of this recently. And that's where this kind of came from. But genuinely, if I've made your day, if I've made you smile, thank you. Um, that's all I need from this. There we go. That's my kind of selfless plug. I hope I made you smile. Thank you. As always, however, guys, I have been Sturks, and you guys have been absolutely incredible, and I will catch you very soon for the next episode.